Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's lesson we're going to learn about factors and multiples. Let's start with multiples. Multiples are the results you get when you multiply a number by whole numbers. For example, if you want the multiples of 10, we multiply 10 by 1, then multiply 10 by 2, 3, 4 and so on. So the first five multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 and it carries on. As you can see now these are just the 10 times table. That is the easiest way to remember the multiples. They're just the times tables of a number. Try this. Write down the first five multiples of these three numbers. Pause the video now and give it a go before continuing to see the answers. Here are the answers. Check if your work matches the answers on your screen. Now let's move on to factors. Factors are the numbers that divide exactly into another number without leaving a remainder. Let's find the factors of 15. We need to divide 15 by numbers that wouldn't leave any remainder. 15 divided by 1 equals to 15, so 1 is a factor as there's no remainder. 15 divided by 2 equals 7 remainder 1, so 2 is not a factor as there is a remainder. 15 divided by 3 equals 5, so 3 is a factor. 15 divided by 4 equals 3 remainder 3, so 4 is not a factor. 15 divided by 5 equals 3, so 5 is a factor. 15 divided by 15 equals 1, so 15 is also a factor. So the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. Another way to find factors is to think which numbers multiply together to make this number. Let's try to find the factors of 12 using this method. Which numbers multiply together to make 12? 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and try to find the factors of 10 and 20. Press play when you're ready to check. Here are the answers. Check if your work matches the answers on your screen. One of the biggest challenges is that students often mix up factors and multiples. So let's compare them side by side with the number 10. Factors of 10 are numbers that go into 10. 1, 2, 5 and 10. Multiples of 10 are the times table of 10. 10, 20, 30 and so on. Notice the difference. Factors are less than or equal to the number whereas multiples are greater than or equal to that number. Can you spot a similar pattern with 20 or any other numbers we worked with today? Try it yourself. Write out both the factors and multiples of these numbers side by side. I've left the answers in the description below. If you're thinking, how is this relevant to real life? Imagine you ordered a pizza with 12 slices. Factors are the numbers of friends you can share the pizza with fairly, with no slices left over. You could share with one, two, three, four, six or twelve friends. So those are the factors of twelve. Now imagine you buy muffins in boxes of four. The multiples of four are the total number of muffins you can buy if you keep buying more. In other words, you can buy four muffins, eight muffins or twelve, sixteen, as you can see, these are the multiples of 4. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more GCSE Maths tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.